This is shuttle launch control. We're at T-minus three hours and holding. We have joined the flight crew for the 41D mission in their quarters in the operations and checkout building, now having breakfast. Going from uh, left to right, as far as this crew is concerned, is Steve Hawley, one of the mission specialists. Mike Coates, who is the pilot. Payload specialist Charlie Walker. And then Commander Hank Hartsfield. Judy Resnick and Mike Mullane, who is uh, another of the mission specialists on this particular flight. Mike Mullane will be MS-1. And Judy Resnick is the third member of the mission specialist team on this particular flight. Hank Hartsfield will be making his second flight on this particular mission. He was a pilot on the shuttle's fourth flight aboard Columbia, which was also the last of the uh, shuttle test flights. Judy Resnick uh, will become America's second woman in space. She'll be responsible for extending the 102-foot solar wing that is part of the OST-1 package that's tucked away in Discovery's payload bay. She'll also operate the Canadian-built robot arm which should provide some spectacular color television pictures from its elbow camera. Back in the firing room, things are very quiet. The closeout crew continuing their work in the crew module in the white room to get Discovery ready for the flight crew's arrival, which should occur about an hour and 30 minutes from now. And here is the flight crew for 41D, led by pilot Mike Coates. Going down the hallway that will take them to an elevator, which will take them down to the ground floor of the operations and checkout building. Uh, accompanying the crew, uh, Director of Flight Operations, George Abbey, um, Head of the Astronaut Office, John Young, who will also be the weather pilot this morning. There's also a group of news media representatives at the ONC building uh, to photograph the crew as they leave their quarters uh, and prepare to take the trip to the launch pad. Commander Hank Hartsfield leading his crew out of the operations and checkout building, joined by Steve Hawley, pilot Mike Coates, uh, Mike Mullane, Judy Resnick, and then trailing the group is payload specialist Charlie Walker. specialist Gary Fuchs closing the door to the astronaut van as they prepare to bring the flight crew to the launch pad. The NASA test director has asked uh, safety to notify him when all the non-essential personnel have left the launch danger area roadblock and the closeout crew has completed their work in the white room. Uh, they should be leaving the pad very shortly. As they depart the pad they will configure the elevators for launch. Flight crew has been performing another in a series of voice checks with Mission Control on the air-to-ground network. And as part of this test, Houston uh, updates the crew on the latest altimeter settings and runways to use in the event of a return to launch site abort into KSC or the transatlantic abort to the uh, airport at Dakar, Senegal. And this is Mission Control, Houston. Ascent Flight Director Gary Cohen has polled the controllers here in the Mission Control room and all positions have given a go for launch. This is Mission Control. Go ahead. Coming up on the hold at the T-minus nine minute mark. Minus 38, repositioning over event doors, coming up on a go from the ground computers to start the onboard ground. T minus 31 seconds, we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. 
T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15. T minus 11. 10. We have a go for main engine start. Six. We have main engine start. Three, two, one. We have SRB ignition and we have liftoff. Liftoff of mission 41B, the first flight of the orbiter Discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Roger, roll. Mission control confirms roll maneuver. Standing by to throttle down to 65% to begin passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Throttling down in a two-step fashion, first 84%, then to 65%. Throttling down confirmed, 45 seconds. Altitude 3.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 2 nautical miles. Velocity 2150 feet per second. Passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Engines running at 65%, velocity 2400 feet per second. Engine throttling back up. Throttling to 104%. Houston, go and throttle up. Discovery, roger, go and throttle up. Discovery given a go at throttle up. One minute, 30 seconds. Velocity, 3,400 feet per second. Altitude, 13 nautical miles. Downrange of distance, 8 nautical miles. 25 seconds away from SRB staging. Three engines running at 104 percent, velocity 4,600 feet per second, altitude 20 nautical miles, downrange distance 15 miles. Standing by for SRB separation. Crew reports uh, PC less than 50. SRB separating. Roger staging. SRB sub confirmed, velocity 5,200 feet per second. Guidance converging is programmed. Altitude 30 nautical miles, downrange distance 30 nautical miles. Discovery Houston, first stage performance nominal. Discovery Roger, first stage nominal. Discovery Houston, single engine press to Miko. Roger, John, single engine press to Miko. At that call, Discovery can continue on to main engine cutoff on only a single functioning engine if necessary. Velocity now 20,000 feet per second, altitude 59 nautical miles, downrange distance 515 nautical miles. Three engines continue to function normally at 104%. Three engines now throttling back to uh, uh, for the passing through the period of three Gs. Velocity 22,000 feet per second, altitude 58 nautical miles, downrange distance 600 nautical miles. Have a good Miko, John. Roger that. 